Although I cannot say that I have experienced other top quality gaming mice, I can honestly say that the Mionics Caster is the best mice I have ever used and does not disappoint. So straight out of the box we are greeted with the mouse and underneath the mouse is a quick start guide and some awesome stickers. Inside the box right in the middle states how you purchase a fine piece of craftsmanship, something I cannot deny. This statement about the craftsmanship is printed around the box and on the inside, something that is different and really nice. My first impressions on this mice is how the quality was so much different than any other mice that I've had. The reason why I purchased it was because I was tired of cheap mice just breaking on me, so I ended up buying a really nice mice that would last. The RGB was a big plus for me, and the buttons felt really nice and tactile with a nice audible click to it. The program was a little bit confusing at first, but ended up being really easy to use. Overall, I wouldn't buy any other mice. So let's get right into the specs. Coming in at around 96 Canadian dollars, although you can get it cheaper from Mastrop, which I did, the caster features a 32-bit ARM processor running at a 32 megahertz, six fully programmable buttons, three fully adjustable DPI settings, although there's no way to tell which DPI you are on unless you are going through the software, two integrated LEDs and two color zones, featuring 16.8 million color options, RGB, with different color effects, 128 kilobyte built-in memory, a huge mouse like feet, gold-plated USB 2.0, and a 2 meter long PVC cable. The mouse has a rubberized material coat and really shows sweat prints or grease, so just keep that in mind. The caster features a PMW3310 IR LED gaming grade optical sensor up to an almost useless 10,000 DPI with no acceleration and an adjustable liftoff distance. With the liftoff distance set at a high setting, the mouse still works 100% at around 0.4 centimeters. Anything higher than that will get you a more varied result. At low settings, the mouse operates 100% at around 0.2 centimeters. Anything higher than that will result in an unresponsive mouse. This optical sensor is really good and you get probably one of the most best motion capturing mouse there is right now on the market. Along with the caster, a downloadable software is included. You can save up to five profiles, customize your LED RGB, adjust polling rate up to a thousand hertz with macro manager, surface analyzer, and lift distance calibration. You can also customize double click speeds, scrolling speed, and pointer acceleration, although that should be left disabled. When I first thought of purchasing the caster, I was really worried about the size. Lots of reviews said that it fits small hands perfectly, but it wouldn't feel as comfy for bigger hands. Although I have relatively small hands as I am still young, this still worried me. A good comparison is the CM Store Devastator Mouse. The caster is actually bigger by around a millimeter but has more of a hump. The caster's dimensions are 122.46 by 70.42 by 40.16 millimeters. I can honestly say that the caster fits in my hand perfectly, feels comfy, the ergonomics are amazing, and I absolutely love it. In the end, I can honestly say the Mionix caster is amazing for the price, the ergonomics, the switches, and the fully customizable RGB lights. Honestly, it is amazing and is targeted more towards the FPS gamers, but is also probably, for a lot of people, their daily drivers, as it is for me. I can say that this mouse is one of the best I have ever used confidently, and I'm not looking forward to using any others.